Hi everyone, it's Su Lin and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a draw with me on Procreate. I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys my journey and process in the new addition of stickers to my Etsy shop. Not yet reopened, but please do look forward to it. I'm working really hard on it and hopefully it'll be up soon. Anyways, moving on to the actual video. For my digital drawings and more recently my sticker illustrations, I use Procreate. I've been using it for about a year or two now, ever since I got my iPad. And I used to use it mostly for calligraphy, but now I do use it for art, and I've been loving it ever since. The size I use for my stickers is just maximized to where I can put it into my Cricut design space to cut out two sticker sheets on one page, which is 1571 by 2367 pixels. Obviously, if you're not making stickers or have a different type of sticker you want to make, you don't need to use this specific size, but it is a general guideline for most sticker sheets. Now for my first tip, one of the most useful tools on Procreate is the selection tool where you can outline whatever you want and cut it out to manipulate however you'd like. Here I used it to cut out my shop title design and I copied it onto my new sticker sheet just so that my shop title design is uniform throughout all my sticker designs. Also, I apologize for my voice, I am slightly sick. <laughs> Another tip slash feature to know is the menu pop-up. It depends on what you choose to set it to, but for me, if I just tap on the screen, little menu options pop up, and here you can see there's a variety of things you can set it to, but for me I mostly keep it to brushes and just layer options. Here I show you how to slowly use them, like for me I can just tap on my screen and then click a button. But here, I swipe in the direction of the button that I know it is and that I want, and it goes much faster. <laughs> here, I'm pretending to sketch out my cheese dude as if I always sketch before I draw anything, but in reality, I rarely sketch my drawings, especially if they're digital, which is really bad, especially because mini pro tip on Procreate it will randomly lower the quality of an image that you're moving around or manipulating or resizing, etc. This is why usually you're supposed to sketch beforehand and just use that time to figure out where you want everything to be. That way you don't have to do it like I did and lose quality just because you move your sticker like two inches to the right. Now here is my failed egg. The art style I've been using doesn't look very good if I don't use a darker color than the object itself for the outline, but since eggs are white, it's harder to go darker without just making it black or gray, which doesn't look as good in my opinion. So after working with it, trying to add a pan, I really tried everything I could think of at the moment. I ended up just giving up and moving on. But honestly, I don't think that's a bad thing, especially if you're drawing for long periods like I do. If I just move on in the moment, I end up thinking about it later on anyway and figuring it out. And so, don't stress yourself out, just move on if you really can't think of anything. And so, here I did. Um, I moved on to a baguette. Baguette? Baguette? I don't know. Um, now this guy got a little weird too, I honestly just kind of suck at using colors and know nothing about color theory. 
and so none of that helps but um this is where my third tip comes in If you do your drawings in layers, it can help to manipulate, erase, and change things uh, piece by piece without changing the rest of the stuff that you actually like. It also helps for people like me because I want my outline to be above the painted area, but I still want to be able to manipulate both layers, so I just keep them separately but keep the layer of the outline above my layer of the painted area. Now my fourth tip is that as you can see here, I change the color of just certain areas and I am able to do that because I put on alpha lock for the layers that I'm working with and so another pro tip, alpha lock is like your best friend. <laughs> Moving on, here's my little milk carton. Honestly, with all of these drawings, I had no vision and theme in mind as it slowly moved towards the theme of breakfast foods. So here, I was just playing around with the setup of my milk, including the fonts for the words. But thankfully, it worked out uh, throughout the video. You guys will see how I mostly stick with the original design slash idea I come up with which I think is just a little lucky in my case, but also stickers and illustrations are a little simpler and even if they're a little wonky, as long as they look cute, it's okay. <laughs> you can see here that I kind of finalized that breakfast food idea because I kept all their faces the same, which is that I hate morning space at least in my mind and I think it's so cute because as good as breakfast foods are, mornings can honestly just suck sometimes. <laughs> Let's be real you guys. Now this is my aesthetic cup of coffee. I went with the clear glass cup look because those are my favorite cups, again aesthetics. But here I'm just adding a little cream because even though I'm lactose intolerant, I can't drink coffee without a bunch of cream and sugar. I also added a little whipped cream on the top. Uh, honestly, I kind of struggled with it because as you can see here, it kind of just looks like poo. And so I did have to re-sketch it and redraw it a bunch of times. And I even changed the color a few times just because it was looking a little too pooey. <laughs> Here I'm actually sketching out my toast because I couldn't figure out the shape of it or the thickness just from my head. So I did look up a reference picture. But after some sketching, it did turn out pretty cute, I think. I like my little butter here and the toasted lines. I think that was a really good idea. <laughs> but yeah. Next is my sausage dude. Uh, this is where I kind of finalized the idea of breakfast foods being the theme. I personally love breakfast sausages, especially with ketchup, which may be a little weird, um, but I added him even though he kind of just looks like a hot dog because I do really like breakfast sausages and I feel like they are an American breakfast staple. <laughs> Obviously, after drawing the sausage, I couldn't forget the bacon, which is probably the main American breakfast staple. It's just so good. <laughs> Now 
Now here you can see that I was able to put the expression on a different layer so I was able to move around as I pleased which was really helpful which brings me to my next tip. Uh, I've been using this throughout the video and it's the color dropper. If you just tap and hold on to the screen long enough to see the magnified circle, you can see that it captures the color and automatically brings you to your paintbrush, whichever one you had before, so that you can paint with whatever color you captured. Now right on to the tip number 6. If you put a layer over another one long enough to see the blue border come up, you could group your layers together. Here I already have them grouped and I'm just reordering them so that it's easier for me to manipulate, but this is helpful if you want to move multiple drawings together like me, especially during sticker designing. I just wanted to move all my stickers up a little and didn't want to have to move them separately which would also uh, ruin the integrity of the setup that I already had so that's very helpful for me at least and hopefully it will be helpful for you <laughs> now this waffle gave me a lot of troubles I ended up just having to sketch it in the end before I drew over it because something about the cross stitching just didn't work and I kind of randomly just changed the shape to a circle later on but I don't know if that really changed anything but I definitely think the sketch was the most helpful out of everything. Also I'm really sorry about my voice. It's like just getting worse. <laughs> uh, mini tip that I forgot to mention earlier. Here you can see that the layer I sketched is less opaque. If you just go into your layers tab and click N next to wherever, whichever layer that you want to make less opaque, uh, it'll drop down into a little bar where you can change the opacity, which is really helpful, especially in cases like this, when I just want to sketch something and then draw over it, or it's very helpful when I make my animations. Now here I kind of cheated and just took the blueberry drawing that I already had from a previous sticker sheet and copied it on just so like honestly it's not really cheating I just didn't want to have to redraw the same thing which I kind of did anyway but here it is um I just used a previous design for the strawberries I kind of did the same thing as you'll see later I just used the same strawberry design duplicated it and then moved it and angled it in a better way so that I have my little berry bunch. Now here, after cringely naming the sticker sheet, the breakfast club, but like not the breakfast club, uh, I just moved things around a lot, especially because the space on the bottom was quite a bit, but it wasn't quite enough to actually fit a whole title. So I ended up having to resize a lot of the stickers and 
shapes and so that was a bit of an ordeal but after that I'm basically done. Uh, I hope this video was helpful or at least interesting <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, please stay safe, continue to quarantine, wash your hands, and social distance. Love you guys! Bye!